Hello, Assalamualaikum everybody. I am here again to teach you on lesson 6, determining the oxidation number of element in a chemical formula and balancing chemical equation. Let's proceed. For this lesson, we are going to find the oxidation number of an element in a chemical formula in order to construct a balance equation via inspection method and ion electron method. Oxidation numbers or oxidation state is the charge that the atom of an element would have if complete transfer of electron takes place in a redox reaction. There are certain rules we need to apply in order to assign oxidation number. If the soft ha khamsa wathalasun. The oxidation number of the uncombined element in its elemental state is zero. For example, sodium solid, oxygen gas, carbon solid, hydrogen gas. All of these are in their natural state. So their oxidation number is zero. The oxidation number of a monoatomic ion is equal to its charge. For example, the potassium ion would have positive 1 charge. Therefore, the oxidation number is positive 1. The nitrogen ion has 3 negative charge. Therefore, the oxidation number for nitrogen ion is negative 3. In compounds, the more electronegative elements are given a negative oxidation number. The sequence of electronegativity of some elements is shown below. The most electronegative element is fluorine, followed by oxygen, and then nitrogen, and then chlorine, followed by bromine, and finally, iodine. Fi sofha sittahwa thalathun, uktub hadha kalimah ions fi hadha surah. Fluorine has an oxidation number of negative 1 in all its compounds because it's the most electronegative element. So write F negative superscript on your blank space in the course book, as I've told you previously in Arabic. The oxidation number of other halogens, for example, chlorine, bromine, and iodine in their compounds are negative one, except when they combine with more ne electronegative elements such as oxygen and nitrogen. The oxidation number of oxygen in most compounds is always negative 2, except in peroxides, and when oxygen combines with a more electronegative element such as fluorine. In a neutral molecule, the sum of the oxidation numbers of all the elements must be zero. For example, let's look at the molecule carbon dioxide. The oxidation number of oxygen we knew is negative two. So it has two oxygen atom Therefore, it is negative 4 for the two oxygen atom. So, if the sum of oxidation number is 0, what is the oxidation number for carbon? It will be 
positive 4. It's a simple algebra. The second example there, zinc nitrate. We know the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. The oxidation number for zinc is, is positive 2. So we should be able to get the oxidation number for nitrogen, which is found to be positive 5. Khamsa. In a polyatomic ion, the sum of oxidation numbers of all the elements in the ion must be equal to the net charge of the ion. For example, ammonium ion has the net charge of positive 1. So, we know that hydrogen's charge is positive 1. It has 4 atoms. So, we should be able to get the oxidation number for nitrogen which is negative 3. Sulfate iron has the total net charge of negative 2. We know that oxygen atom has oxidation number negative 2. It has 4 atoms. Therefore, we should be able to calculate the at oxidation number for sulfur. Okay. Now let's learn how to balance equation. A chemical equation shows a chemical reaction using symbols. The formula of the reactants are written on the left, whereas the products were written on the right. Let's say we have a general equation shown on the slide. The species on the left is the reactant. And on the right is the products. The total number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides in a balance equation. Numbers X, Y, Z and W is showing the relative number of molecules reacting and they are called stoichiometric coefficients. Read after me. Stoichiometric coefficients. Yes, like that. Good. So how are we going to read chemical equations? Let's say we have 2Mg plus O2 becoming 2MgO. This is two magnesium atoms react with one molecule of oxygen to make two formula units of magnesium oxide. This is the same as two moles of magnesium react with one mole of oxygen to make two moles of magnesium oxide. Since one mole of magnesium is equal to 24.3 grams, therefore two moles is becoming 48.6 grams of magnesium. It reacts with 32 grams of oxygen to make 80.6 grams of magnesium oxide. Never, never, never we say 2 grams of magnesium reacts with 1 gram of oxygen to make 2 grams of magnesium oxide. How do we balance the chemical equation using inspection method? Firstly, write down the unbalanced equation and make sure the correct formula is written for the reactants and the products. Then, you have to balance the metallic element first, followed by the non-metallic atoms. Then, you balance the hydrogen atom followed by the oxygen atoms. And finally, you have to make sure that the total number of atoms on each element is, on, is the same on both sides of the equation. Let's do example 1.12. Ammonia plus copper oxide becoming copper, nitrogen gas and water. So firstly, we need to look at the metallic element, which is copper, is the same there. And then we look at the non-metallic element, which is nitrogen. So we add two on the left because we want to make it the same as the nitrogen molecule on the right. The next step is to look at the hydrogen atom, which is six on the left. Um, so it's also six on the right. Then, we look at the oxygen. On the right, there are three atoms. 
and on the left we have to put 3 in front of copper oxide therefore on the right also we have to put 3 at the copper atom so this is the final answer the next 